Okay, here's another game of League of Legends coming your way, this time from the jungle. So, we're in flex queue. Attempt number three at a game. Game one was ruined by top lane trolling, game two was ruined by support trolling, and let's see how game three works. So I'm gonna go Skarner this one. My finger brings ugly death. Reason for that being is I don't necessarily need the blue buff, so I can give it to Rise, and I can hold down the Eloi or even the Twitch if need be. The one downside though is I have to get past the Trundle and actually reach her. And as is, I'm guessing it's Trundle in the jungle, her top, and they're picking their mid laner last. I'm not entirely sure. So we have a Flash Crescendo at our disposal. That's their mid laner. So I think I may pay him a visit early. Oops. Wonder if I should have taken the attack speed instead. It's only like four percent, which isn't really that big. I mean. It Dagger, I think, gives you 12. Tells you how little that's worth. But then, on the other hand, 2% ability damage isn't really that great either. So top is running the same keystone and summoners. Notice our support is running ghost and flash. And I guess this might be able to work for her, but we figure most sonas would go wind speakers. Now Trundle I think should be able to sustain just fine on his own. He shouldn't necessarily need this. One thing I do have to worry about is either him stealing my or Renekton's defenses late game. The good news is since they don't have a team with a lot of dashes, I mean, Braum has a jump which I consider to be a dash, the pillar could work against them. He has to be really good at landing it. And I just noticed our Lucian is running Warlords. Oh well... Oh, wait a second. Okay, I thought that was uh, Grasp of the Undying at first, but Storm Riders. So, that's not really a good pick into Eloi, because you have to do a percentage of her health. And most Eloi's go one damage item at most, and then full tank. So for him to proc this, he's going to need to look at one of the other guys. I don't even know if she has a slow... Actually, I think the E is a slow. Well, I say it's the E. So I guess that'll help with the E, but that's about it. Now there is a problem with the game currently, other than... There's multiple problems with the game going on. Currently there is a glitch of sorts where some players can't connect to the game, they'll disconnect right here, so it's possible that their AD carry could be going through this right now. I don't know if we have to wait, if they're going to reconnect at all, or how this is going to work exactly. All I know is I like their team a lot better than ours, just because of the support difference. We'll have to see if this is a remake or not. If I'm lucky, it will be, so I don't have to play this out. And if one of them is pre-made with their AD carry and can get him back, hopefully they can tell him, hey, the 
enemy support is not the sharpest tool in the shed. Even though you may be behind a level, we can totally win this, as they totally can. In case you're wondering, the exhaust would be very helpful for dealing with Eloy or Swain's massive amounts of healing. Swain's actually does work off of the damage he deals. For Eloy, it's based off of her max health, I think, or it's her missing health or something like that. But still, if you can slow her down, I think it slows down the tentacles, but I'm not 100% sure. And he's running Ignite. <sighs> Like, I'm really at a loss for words for how... Like, I maybe it's not that they're entirely bad, maybe it's just they don't know. But the problem is they're not putting any effort into learning. And since his percentage stuff stopped, I assume he may have disconnected again. As long as that circle in the bottom right corner is working, I know I'm still here. I wonder how many times I'm just going to sign like that this game. Okay, there he goes. Guess you need to tighten the rubber band or something. Give the crank a few couple turns, you know. But sadly, this may end up being a win if he's having connection problems just because of the problems. And unfortunately, if that's the case, I'm not going to bother uploading it anyway, so... And there I go again. So the good news is on this side of the map I can start with the chicken camp. It's going to allow me to hit level 3 a little earlier. And I don't even really need a leash with it I think. If I can start there, I'm going to take the Q. Still going to max E first, though. So I'll be dealing 23 damage when... charged. <laughs> compared to my base 22. Like, if there were one change that were to be made to Skarner, I'd want to change his Q. So the Silver Squad is busy guarding their towers, making sure no one takes those within the first two minutes. If Illusion's gonna come, we can contest this. Minions have scored. I'm not even gonna say it. Eh, we can do it. I'm trusting you, Lucian. So once I hit level 2, I'll have my W, which can help me take the chickens a little safer. <laughs> Silver Squad!
So, if you don't know, the math gives you more EXP if you do chickens first, because they're higher level than you. Each one of these will give you a bonus 30 EXP. And when you realize there's six of them, that's basically a free 180 XP. And if you look, that's basically half your level 1 just in bonus EXP, not even counting the base EXP you get. First Dragon's Water. So the one downside to going down the leftmost tree is I don't have the green father, so I can deal some extra damage here. My stinger is ready. So we're going to crowd this back in. Not too likely I can actually do anything to her. So if nothing else, I got the ward in place. We await our time. So this is gonna give away my position, but I don't really care. But since there's nothing for me to do on the map, I need to just start farming again. Luckily, since Skarner has such a good safe clear and everything, you can afford to... basically go without needing your Cinder early. The Cinder itself has been changed where it deals more damage to jungle creep. So for that reason alone... If he pushes that in, we can try to get her. So this is an opportunity for Ryze to get ahead. Renekton's already winning the lane. <laughs> this world is so strange. Actually, yeah, I do have to hit these. Uh, something was killing them. Might have been my, mach uh, my talisman. So I don't really care to pop the other ones. The E will be back up when I need it. seen that before. I don't know if that's something that may work on Sonar. I don't know. If anything, nothing else, it's going to give her 50% base mana regen early. It's not really a lot, but it's going to help her just poke a bit more, I guess. Now, the crab may not be up, but it is. So let's get it.
I'm gonna go back, get my cinder. Buffs are up. So I'm not sure if he actually knows the pink ward or not, since he might have been too busy going on me. Good news is my team is out farming their team pretty hard. What Lucian's saying is correct, by the way. Sona needs to stay now until the next back, which is not necessarily ideal for her gold generation or a lot of things, to be blunt. Now, the exception will be if she can use Crescendo to get a kill. Trundle should be able to solo the dragon. Well, it depends on what he goes for, I guess. But he should be able to. As such, we need some vision. Hey, there he is. So, not sure if he knows, but he has no red buff. So that's all his mana. And I'd say that definitely was worth my ghost, because he has to go back and he has no teleport. New Rift Herald, by the way. So I'm not sure who he subjugated, but... It doesn't matter, we got yellow oil, which is what I was aiming for. It's gonna slowly push Renekton further and further ahead, and if he can bully her, that's gonna give us a lot of leverage later. Now notice he still has no red buff. So yes, this is gonna give away my presence, but it's worth it. Swain's the only one with hard CC, if you didn't notice. That's why I had nothing to fear. And Swain's been roaming so much. Let's get over there. There goes his blue buff, by the way. And he's going for the late game power spike. Since he didn't get punished early game, I guess he can afford to get away with that. <laughs> I should just keep willing on the big one since I have an AoE clear. The 
this world. Suicide by Scorpion. So if you want to read the text on the Cinder, it says it still deals 40 or 50% bonus damage, but it's supposed to be double damage. Waste of Ghost. I'm just going to go back as is, since I don't have my ult. Want a sheen. And you know what, I'd rather get the longsword because it's going to boost my auto attack and my Q damage. Not by much, mind you, but still something. So as I was trying to say earlier, the thing I like least about Skarner is probably his Q. Since it has no base damage, unless you're going to go AD, or well, unless you're going to go AD, this is never really going to amount to much. That's why I'm maxing it last, by the way. So, damn it, let me read the burn to his stuff. Okay, this deals 200% bonus damage. And pretty much from here, I'm just going to get tankier and tankier. So I'm getting this first because I can take it fast. And that's going to be my CC for this fight. Which apparently I don't even need. So using the Spellblade procs, we're gonna get this tower. I'd say he's a little justified at being upset at Sona. <laughs> Midline farm. I'm gonna start counter jungling the hell out of Trundle to keep him further and further behind. So, if you're gonna learn anything from this one, just realize the damage that roaming can do to you, as in the case of Swain. Say so. <laughs> we think alike, Summoner. Is 
So let's find out how this works now. for you, man. Shut down. W. This world is so strange. <laughs> so if you didn't notice, that's perfect CS for almost. So in the next back, I need to get upgraded boots. For this game, I can go anything I want. I'm kind of surprised they haven't surrendered already. So I'm not smiling this in the hopes that they actually came out from their cubby hole, but they didn't. Need to get up there. I want to see how it works, that's why I'm heading there, in case you're wondering. need to get out of there because I can pop the tentacles for him. Oh my god, they killed the Rift Herald! So notice the bot lane. <laughs> so if Twitch comes out, we can see him. I think we've done enough here. Next dragon's earth. Shut down. We'll go ahead and grab this. I have all six. Does that mean I automatically win?
Well, Renekton goes and pushes the bird. He exhausted me. How rude, man. I'm fine with that. So, team wasn't really trying to poke them or anything. Maybe they'll encourage them to play this out a bit more. So I have almost double Chundle CS. He's going for a Blade of the Rune King. So he's trying to stack some slows. Might as well get the mountain, that's gonna speed up the Baron, I guess. So usually this is the choice that costs me my S rank in the games, because I'd rather get the dragon than try to get that pick. So most of the towers are dead, but this is going to help us with future dragons, as well as Baron, or... Well, just... I don't think it works on structures. Right now they're putting to good use on this bot tower. So I grabbed Twitch because generally he's the one to watch out for, and this one actually has their kills. So our supers are in the top. So, did Sona ever build a side stone? I wasn't really paying attention. But no mastery shower, which means that's an S minus.
So in terms of damage, I did the least. I didn't really get to put the Triforce to use, and ultimately I was trying to absorb damage. Renekton should have absorbed more just because of the nature of his lane. Rise should not have, but he wasn't really that great with his positioning. That's why he has the most deaths out of anyone. In terms of gold, I have more than Sony, even though she was kill stealing like no tomorrow. And I'm actually comparable to Renekton, surprisingly. I did beat Lucian, but... Hmm. Not gonna put any extra thought into that. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys would stick around to watch this, but I'm not. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.